Well, hi there, my good folks. Welcome back to Geronimo's Kitchen. All right, so tonight, today, this morning, we are making Jamaican brown stewed fish. Yes, man. You know, say I like seafood. I like fish. So, um, you know, I will do it in a many, many variety of ways in Jamaica. We steam it, we fry it, we brown stew it, we curry it and everything. And we're going through all the motions. All right, so tonight, Today, this morning, we're making brown stewed fish and I'm using a parrot and a red snapper which have already been cleaned, already been cleaned, dried, packed dry because you know we have, to, we have to fry it first. So we just pack them dry. Throw our ingredients real quick. Do not beat this until you try this is some barbecue sauce. Just about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Don't beat it till you try it. Then we have a uh, tomato ketchup right here. Um, uh, just a little cube of butter, right? Then we have some soya sauce. On our spice plate today, we got some onion powder, some salt, and some all purpose. We're not using black pepper for this recipe. Remember, no black pepper for this recipe. Then, of course, we have our aromatics and vegetables. We have a uh, bell pepper. If you guys have tricolored bell peppers at home, this would be perfect for this recipe. I only have green peppers that now stop me. May I proceed to make it. Then we have some onion, scotch bonnet, pepper of course, carrots, thyme, garlic, and a small plummy tomato right there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and season our fish. So let's mix our spices together right there and just season our fish. So we just want, I want to season inside the head inside the belly and inside the head and outside at our pack let me just make some small incisions on our fish right here so we can rub in our spice and i have my cast iron skillet on the stove that's just going over there with some oil heating up and getting ready for the action all right so this recipe is quite simple um, prep time just about five minutes, cook time just about uh, anywhere between 12 and 15 minutes. Right, so it's very, very easy. This is one of the easiest, so we just want to get it inside the little cuts, slits we made. Right, beautiful brown stewed fish right here in Geronimo's kitchen. Right, for me, it's actually in the middle of the night for you guys. By the time when I watch this, someone I watch this, I'm on in some watch, you know, midnight just like me. So I watch it when it drops. All right? So let me get a rinse on my hand. All right, and right, beautiful. So now that those are seasoned, let's get our oil all flavored up. So we're just going to cut this scotch bonnet right over in there and some garlic over in there as well and that's that acts as a test as well how you know if your oil is ready whenever you see something start sizzle see it yeah let's just get some flavor in that oil and that oil looks quite uh the garlic the garlic and the scotch bunny you can you can smell that so we're just going to go right in with our fish. While our fish is going here, we just want to prep everything else that's going to go into our sauce. We sauté off our vegetables when we take our fish out. And um, so we can make that sauce, you know, bring it down. Bring that sauce down. We're just slice your tomato, so, the tomato, and our pepper. And guys, trust me, this is a very, 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 very simple recipe. We just julienne in the sweet pepper there, and that's going to give the sauce a very nice natural sweetness, right? Just cutting off the cheeks. Off of the cheeks and just julien. That's what we're going for. We're going for our carrots. And this is good. 
Yeah. And we want to get our fish all nice and crisp. Because remember we will put it down in that sauce. And you know? we want the sauce to be. We don't want no. We don't want no. Um, yeah, we're going to do it in the carrots, yeah. So when you get it, yeah, we don't want our fish break, breaking up soft and soggy. We still want a nice little crunch. Even if it's not crunchy, you want it to be nice and, and firm. So we're getting the fish very, very crisp before you take them out and put them in our sauce. Alright? Beautiful. Lovely. Alright, so watch here. Our veggies are all prepped and nice. We just want to flip these over. Yes. And we get that all crisp and nice. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, so we're going to allow that. Just another three or so minutes until it's crisp on that side. Then we're going to remove them out of our plate. And then we're going to put the sauce together, get it all simmering in mass. And then we'll add our fish back, baste that baby a little bit. You know what? Of course, if you allow it long enough, it will naturally fit in. But I'm mean, going to put a little corn starch in it. So I think these are just about done. Let's get them out onto a platos. Our plates, two power plates. Yeah, I think you're I don't know. Nice. Alright, and what we want to do now, we want to get the oil out of our skillet. Because we can't, we can't make a sauce with so much oil tonight. So we're going to get our oil out. Get that down there. Yes. So we've removed the oil from our skillet. And now we just want to add our veggies right in on skillet. In, show them right in. So we're adding our onions. Our onions and our peppers. Yes, adding our thyme. Let's crush a garlic right here. And add that baby in. Ooh, the aromas. The aromas coming in with our tomato. Now we're going to run to the air, run to the cover, run to the cover, run to the cover, get some, just a little garlic salt, just a little, because remember that the soy sauce has a bit of salt in it, ooh, I wish you guys could smell this, just look at that, let me get our, oh my mommy, yeah. I wish you could smell the aromas coming out of the baby here. Ooh. Ooh, loud. All right, so you know, battle steam fish is on in Geronimo's kitchen. Right now, we're just sauteing off the veggies, pulling all the essential oils out of the, the, the veggies. Oh, beautiful. All right, so once we have our veggies going there, I'm going to add some soya. Or uh, little barbecue sauce there, just some ketchup. Mm -hmm. You know I'm not a big fan of ketchup, but this recipe here must have ketchup in it. Then some water. No water. Huh? Maybe I should add just a tad bit more water. Just a tad bit. So let's use the water to wash out the ketchup and this little <coughs> barbecue sauce right there. Yes. Alright. Good, good, good. And we're going to add all that to simmer down for a little. So let me get a cover. Let's just borrow one of these. <laughs> cover that baby right there. See how all my Dutch ovens they fit perfectly? Let's get our one green pepper in. They fit perfectly. Let's get all of these out the way. All right, so I know many of you are wondering, oh my gosh, this looks quite nice, doesn't it? Doesn't it, doesn't it? All right, so I know a lot of you are wondering 
about this butter but you know geronimo i love my butter the butter adds this final little creaminess that cannot be replaced by any other ingredient i don't care what you say it are going like butter goes in brown steel fish that's what i'm saying oh yes look at that oh yes oh yes oh yes, oh, yes. All right, so we're just gonna allow that to simmer for a bit, all right? All right, clean up our counter. Let's check on this. Ooh, loud. Oh, this is this is thickening quite naturally. I don't think we may not even need this cornstarch. But anyways, after we pass this step, all we want to do now is we want to get our fish in. Let's make some space for the fish. Right? Yeah, let's get some space for that fish. Right in. I'm gonna take our veggies here. Wow. Take our veggies. Let me get a smaller. Oh, there's my tongue. Right here. Get our veggies right on top of our fish. And then we're going to base. The, the fish with that with nice gravy that we have, the sauce we have going down there. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, just like so. That's all she wrote. Let's get this out of our way. This sink there, I made myself a nice little spoon. You know what? I don't think I'm even going to put any, any corn slash in it. We're just going to take the sauce. And just base our fish. And we're gonna take a butter into the sauce. Oh yes. Butter cannot be replaced by anything else. Care not what they say. Care not what they say. Butter cannot be replaced by anything else. The creaminess, that final creaminess of the butter. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mercy. All right. And let me tell you something. This is, we're not trying to steam over the fish, right? Or cook over the fish. That's not what we're doing. So now I feel like we're going to have it in there for two hours. Just a cook down. And that's how you go. You know, like us, some old people, when they cook the vegetable, they have the cabbage and I pot at three hours. Mm -mm. That's not what we're doing this one. We're just basing. Look at that. Alright, so we're covering this literally for about a minute and a half. Get it all. Let's get rid of our horns. Alright, let me clear up the area here. Clear this area for plating. <laughs> so that's done. I'm going to shut off the stove right there to get that shut off and give you a sneak peek of the finished product look at that baby looking like a million bucks one million bucks look yes. at it. so it's done bring them in pot again with them seat oh lord marcy marcy yes all right so what you know we want to plate i want to take a fish right right onto the plate here Oh, then we want to take some of these veggies uh, cook down in that sauce and we want to just stack up some of our veggies right on top and if you, I know some of you already see that I have some parmesan so that I fry off right on the side there so now that this is down in the plate what we're going to do is we're going to take one Let's, let's get three bammies on the plate. One, two, three. Right? Bammies down. Right? Then we want to put plantain down. Yes. Just like so. See there? One, two, three plantains. Then we have this very simple salad. We just want to throw that right there. Right there. Right there. There, right there, 
in for the kill in Geronimo's kitchen. It's battle brown stewed chicken. And then we want to take our scotch bonnet and put it right there. Look at that. Brown stewed chicken, Geronimo's kitchen. So now to the good part. You know what I always say? The proof of the pudding is into the eating. And this is the eating part where we like. Marcy, let's go down. Oh, Lord, come here. Yes, yes. Ooh. Oh, God. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Lord, that flaky white meat. Get or bam it into some of the. Oh, Jesus. All the people who are bad mind right now. Listen. Remember. <laughs> Let me finish this. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Boy, boy, boy. Remember to like this video. Subscribe to my channel, Geronimo's Kitchen. Delivering on the flavors all the time. Deliver on the presentation. Delivering on the style. From my kitchen to your screens, to your homes. Battle brown stew fish. On point. On point. Subscribe. Tell on a friend. Because more of this coming. Peace out. Mamma mia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.